Hello everyone, it's time for a quick and easy box opening video. In this video, we will be opening a Fairyland Dark Sioux Elf A head. This video is really short by the way, so I can't exactly talk about everything I wish to talk about in this video. So if you want to know more information about the story behind this head, you can check out my blog, which is in the description, and you can read all about it there. But I had a hell of a time trying to find this doll head. Turns out it wasn't exactly being made yet. They finally popped up on Denver Doll Emporium's in stock section, but they were all blue and gray. And you also had to buy the full doll in order to get this event head. And I didn't want the whole doll, I just wanted the head. Anyway, upon opening this doll head, I realized the ears are a little bit longer than what the pictures show which is fantastic because I wanted a little bit longer ears for the character that I wanted this head for. The only thing I'm really dissatisfied about this head is the lips expression. Uh, this character is more like a smiley character, but I can live with this. I was originally going to try and sculpt my own head because I couldn't find one to match, but I found this one after many, many years. Now this doll is going to be a hybrid doll. The body is going to be a Sum Rosette body. And here I'm comparing the head sizes to make sure the head is not too big. If it is too big, then I would have to sell the Sioux head. A long time ago, I had originally bought a Dika doll Elfrina head for this, but the head was way too big for these skinny little Rosette bodies. So I ended up selling that head and haven't found the head since. And this was back in 2012. But luckily, this head seems to be just about the right size. It's just a little bit bigger than rosette heads. And that's why I was kind of so excited to find this Fairyland head because Fairyland heads are typically a little bit smaller than normal S MSD heads. And by the way, I forgot Fairyland dolls needed the stupid neck connectors. I wonder if there's an alternative to neck connectors. Luckily, I have several Fairyland heads and already had some. It's taken me a minute to realize that the S-hook is clamped down so the string cannot be removed. So I just kind of improvised. Because at this point, I just want to see the head body ratios to see if this head will work with this body. Oh, and if you're curious, I have like four rosette bodies. <laughs> Three of them are crammed in one box because two of them did not come with boxes because I bought them secondhand. And as I put this head on, I can see that it kind of looks okay. The head body ratio isn't too messed up. The head it doesn't seem too big, so it's great. I think I finally found the right head after many, many years. And I have tried many heads over the years. I've tried the Dika doll. I've tried... Uh, Let's Yule. I've tried Doll Pam Cerevi or Icarus. I've tried with doll heads, which were kind of too small, honestly. Same thing with the Doll Pam dolls. Those were a bit too small, too. And I have pictures and stuff of all of this on my Flickr account. Anyway, thanks for watching. All the links are in the description. Okay, bye. Subscribe.